dear friends in this session we are going to find the equation of lines of regression for a given joint pd of a two dimensional variable since the limit is given between 0 to 1 for x and 0 to 2 for y it is obviously pdf to find the regression lines we need p of x dy x dxy or etc so first let us find the correlation coefficient from which we can easily find the regression lines as usual whenever there is a problem given in the paper first of all find the ordinal function so this is very useful to solve the remaining problem so if x is going to be f of x comma y dy but my y limit is between 0 to 2 I am taking this. When I integrate, I will be getting the answer 2 by 3 x plus 1 x lies between 0 to 1. Similarly, I can solve the marginal distribution for y. Whenever you do y, you have to take x limit. So, x limit is between 0 to 1. When you integrate, we will be getting the answer 1 by 6, 1 plus 2y. Now there is a typo, let's ignore it. So now the marginal function fx and fy is ready. Let us find e of x. So for e of x, the formula is minus infinity to infinity x f of x. You understand this f of x is nothing but what? A marginal distribution f of x into dx. Now apply this as I said earlier before solving, before integrating, just simplify this equation so it is easy for us to integrate. And then we will get the solution. Similarly, we can find e of y and we can find x bar and y bar. Since the expectation for x bar or mean all are same or average, whatever it is. Let us do this. So, to find the correlation coefficient, uh, we need sigma x, sigma y. So, sigma x and sigma y. To find the correlation coefficient, we need sigma x and sigma y. To find sigma x and sigma y, it is essential we have to find e of x, which we already did, and we have to find e of x squared. Similarly, so here we have y and e of y squared. Okay. I am just skipping this because it is very easy, you can do by yourself, because x is replaced only by x squared. You can find the value. The value is 7 by 18. In a similar way, I can find e of y square also. So my e of y square is 16 by 9. Now I can find the standard deviation from the formula variance. My variance of x is nothing but e of x square minus e of x. I can find the standard deviation from the variance formula p of x is p of x square minus e of x whole square. Okay. Then standard deviation is always positive square root of variance. In the similar way, I can find sigma y also. So up to now, we find e of x, e of x square, e of y, e of y square, sigma x. Sigma y. So now we remember the formula the variance of x comma y is going to be e of x y minus e of x e of y. So now I have to find e x y. So either I can take dy dx or I can take dx dy and substitute the limit accordingly. As I said, here we have to substitute the question and Simplify before you integrate. And while you integrate, you get the answer 
Jadi ini sudah ini. Ini yang x, y, is, y, y, y. Done. So covariance I can find from this user calculator, don't do manual calculations. My covariance of x, y is my covariance of x, y is minus 1 by 81. Then immediately we will go to the formula for then immediately we will go to the formula for correlation coefficient r. You can calculate. So we found r is going to be negative, use a calculator and find the decimal. Next, our target is to find the regression lines. So, do you remember what are the regression lines? Either y on x or x on y. Whenever I say y on x, it is going to be y minus y bar, dyx, x minus x bar. If it is x on y, x minus x bar, dxy, y minus y bar. Now, this dyx is going to be sigma y by sigma x into r. Similarly, dxy is going to be sigma x by sigma y into r. So, we know the r value we have already formed. And we know sigma x, sigma y values also. Just be able to substitute. And this x bar is nothing but my e of x and y bar is e of y. So everything is in our hand, just we have to substitute and we have to find the regression values. Okay. Yeah, this is the standard formula we use. X bar is nothing but e of x, y bar is nothing but e of y. We can use whatever the formula. First we are finding the equation x on y. Okay. So we know all the values, substitute it, try to cancel or use your calculator, simplify it, and you will get the answer x bar equal to minus 1 by 23 into y minus 14 by 23. In the similar way, we can find regression line y on x. We know the formula, we know all the data y bar or sigma x, sigma y, x bar. Just substituting and simplifying, we get the solution y is equal to minus 2x by 13 minus 17 by 13. That gets guys, it's going to be that's it, guys. It's going to be very, very simple. Just count all the internal values and make sure that you are applying the correct limit and you'll get the answer easily. Good luck. Subscribe and support our channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.